Hey everybody, this is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity coming at you with an install video, a super simple install video. Ooh, thunder. So it has been raining a lot in Houston for the last two weeks and it has caused me an enormous amount of displeasure and pain because I can't work in the garage because it's packed with stuff. I can't ride around to record a video and I didn't have any parts coming in to do any installs. So, you know, there was nothing much to do. So anyways, I got a package in the mail and here it is. And I've been waiting a while for this. Uh, it was custom made. It is something that was on my bucket list to do with my Honda Ruckus, except for I promised myself this would be the very last thing that I do on my Ruckus. Throughout the period of owning this, I've seen other people like, for example, Lee and Lee's wife, Amber, and all these other people got these super cool things that I've always wanted to have on my Ruckus and I promised myself I wouldn't do it until I did it last. So this isn't gonna be the last thing. I just figured that now is the time to go ahead and do it. But before I open this, let's roll the intro. Oh. Anyways, here it is. Let's go ahead and open it. So here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. It comes in a plain package and it says on the top, please open with care. Do not cut or slice into the package. Now, knowing me, I probably already told you in the title of the video what this is. So I don't know what all the suspense is about because you probably know already, but here it is. Let's open this bubble package. Yeah. Ooh, it, it tears open. It's here with is. Da, 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 da. It is a beautifully made hand. Well, I don't know about hand. Custom made cheeky seat seat cover. I had it made orange with black with the three quarters cover diamond stitch with double stitch uh, here and then on the back it has the SEV signature logo on the back so uh, I was told that you should be able to be able to put this on just by stretching it on here uh, so I might as well go ahead and do that now <laughs> since I unboxed it on the seat probably should open the lid. Hold on, let me do this. So yeah, it's installed and ooh, bright. So it's installed. Yeah, so it's installed and I'm gonna let it sit here and I'm gonna take form, let it settle and, and get onto the seat and see how well this slip-on cover fits. Because I was told in some cases it's better to staple it down, but I really don't wanna do that. I don't know why. Maybe I wanna take it off and make it safe if I go into a ghetto part of town. I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna let it sit like this. Let the humidity and everything else in my garage uh, make the material flat and then we'll come back and take a look at it. So I'll see you in a few hours.
So what do you think about the, uh, the new seat? Uh, leave a comment below. I'd really like to know. Uh, so <laughs> the seat color didn't come out exactly to match the bike, but it's close enough. Um, there are a couple of things. I'd like to list some pros and cons to this type of seat cover uh, and not stapling it. I, I, I'm, I don't think I'm going to staple it, but let's kind of review that really quick. So cool thing about the, the seat and the stitch is that it's symmetrical. <laughs> I know that doesn't mean a lot to a lot of people, but like it's symmetrical from the center down. So the pattern doesn't seem offset. Like if you see this size here, you see one here, you see this shape here. Um, what? Yeah, you see the shape, you see it on the other side also. It's, and, and it's, it's pretty symmetrical. Um, I think I need to sit on it or something more, or maybe tighten it some more, but I do have a little bit of wrinkling here still, but I think that'll go away with time. I think Lee had the same type of situation with his where it kind of looked weird. And then after he sat on it for a long time, I got used to it. So uh, that's a negative, but that's a negative that will probably go away. The actual stitching on here looks absolutely spectacular. Uh, they edited it to make the font a little bit bigger to get it to show up and did a spectacular job on there. The material is exactly the way I want it. Um, what's cool also is there's a little, I don't know if you saw it in the beginning, but there's a little bungee cable that you can pull to tighten it to get the, uh, the elastic around the edge to pull tighter into here. I may need to do that some more, um, but it's easily tucked in underneath here, or at least it is for my bike. Uh, and then the top with the way this is set up, there's more cushioning. Like it's seriously softer <laughs> by a lot. Uh, I guess it really depends on the type of seat that you choose uh, from them, but each one of these little puffy triangle diamond thingies, there's material under there before they stitch it down to get that, that, that diamond pattern to come across. Uh, I do like the orange stitching accent right here. And then I asked for black piping on here all the way around. I kind of think that maybe I should have went with like a all black design with some orange stitching, but I like the way this stands out. Now you can kind of tell that it's not exactly the same color. I don't know if the color grading on my camera is showing it justice. I guess what I'm trying to say is I really can't wait to actually start riding on this seat to see how it feels on my hiney and see if it affects my butt dyno on here. And then maybe it'll absorb a little bit of that GY6 vibration and make it ride a little bit better for me. So my final verdict is that it is a great buy. Uh, there are two types of parts that you can buy for your ruckus, or there's actually three things, but there, there's two that you can buy. The first car part that you buy is mass made parts that you can buy in groves. For example, like handlebars and brakes and stuff like that, cylinders and stuff. Those are all prefab that you can buy that are in bulk. This is one of those types of products. It is artisan or crafted for you. Uh, kind of like Dorby crafts all his parts and exhausts. He doesn't have them pre-made by the dozens, or at least that I know of. Uh, kind of like his harness that he makes. So keep that in mind whenever you get this. It, it didn't take a long time, but it was definitely worth the wait to have something that was crafted specifically for my ruckus. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you get something out of this. Let me know what you think. If you've had any cheeky seat experiences, uh, this is great. And if you go to their website, there are plenty of different types of seat types you can get in there. So I highly recommend using cheeky seats to get that custom seat look on your scooter or bike. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see everybody in the next video.